making machine and they'll, they'll, they'll work harder. You've been involved in the Global Drugs Commission. Uh, can you talk a little bit about your work there? I, I was asked to become a commissioner of the Global Drugs Commission by President Cardozo, who, who was um, president of Brazil. Um, and he's pulled together a group of commissioners, Kofi Annan, um, you know, George Schultz from America, um, and a lot of ex-heads of uh, South American countries. Um, to do a, an, an examination of whether the war on drugs is working. And the end, the end result of the Commission's work is, you know, the war on drugs is not working um, and there needs to be a rethink. Um, and the rethink the Commission have proposed is that instead of uh, treating people like criminals who take drugs, um, that it should be realised that this is a health problem, that people need to be helped. Um, and that in countries where they've taken this approach, Portugal being the best example, um, they've managed to halve the number of heroin addicts, halve the number of people on, 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 um, on, on heavy drugs, uh, and the amount of marijuana use uh, is the least of any, any country in Europe. Um, so if we could replicate what's happening in Portugal in the rest of the world, and in particular America, uh, you would get rid of you know, about three quarters of the prison populations, save the country a, a ton of money, um, you know, save a lot of misery caused in families by throwing, throwing people into prison unnecessarily. Uh, and then you could use that money to uh, put it into, uh, you know, drug clinics, into hospitals, into schools, into, you know, building roads, um, and, um, and make it much more productive for society.